To start off with our recipe, we're gonna need some beef. Now, I got some chuck tender roast here. You can use chuck roast also. You're gonna need about two to three pounds. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna just season them with salt and pepper, and we're gonna let them rest for about 30 minutes. We are also gonna need a pound of red potatoes. We're gonna need three carrots, three celery stalks, a half of an onion, two teaspoons of thyme, two garlic cloves crushed. Then for our gravy, we're gonna need a half a stick of butter and a quarter cup of flour. Now set your instant pot to saute and you want this on more energy and it automatically goes for 30 minutes. Now we're just gonna lay down a little bit of oil and then we're gonna lay down our tender roast and we're gonna get a nice sear on both sides of that tender roast. And since I'm doing two, I made a little extra for the family so that we have a little leftovers, but just get a nice sear for about three to four minutes and then flip and then go ahead and sear that other side. Once you got a nice sear on your roast, we're gonna go ahead and add in our onions and we're gonna deglaze the bottom of that pan. So at this moment, we still have the, the Instant Pot on sear, but once it's deglazed, go ahead and turn it off. Now we're just gonna go ahead and add all of our ingredients. Two cups of beef broth, our carrots, celery, potatoes, and our dry spices. We're gonna add everything except for the flour and the butter because we're gonna be making a gravy with that. So get everything in your Instant Pot, Go ahead and give it a cover and you want to make sure that your vent is open you do not want it sealed because we're going to be slow cooking this so once you got everything in there go ahead and cover it up and again make sure your seal is open we're going to set it to four hours on more and we're going to let it slow cook once your four hour timer is done what you want to check is to make sure that your roast is tender now it's got a lot of extra juices now because it's all cooked up but i did touch it and it was pull apart tenders which kind of what you want so just go ahead and take everything out and then we're going to be taking those juices that's in the instant pot and we're going to screen that we're going to be using that to make our gravy now in a saucepan or your instant pot you can do this in your instant pot also we're going to go ahead and add some butter in there and get that butter melted and then once it's all melted we're going to go ahead and add in our flour now I ended up just making a blonde gravy because I ended up putting beef broth in there to kind of change the color so it's a little bit darker. But if you want a dark gravy, you would actually cook this for a little bit longer. But in this recipe, all I did was just cook it for about two minutes just to cook out that, that flour flavor. And then, you know, I went from there. But if you want a darker gravy, you're gonna cook that for a little bit longer and you'll actually see the color changes as the more you cook your roux. Now, since I said I was gonna be making a blonde gravy, I went ahead and added two cups of that beef broth that we got from that, that pot roast. It smells fantastic, trust me. When you guys make this, it's gonna smell really good. Now, at first, when you put the liquid, it's gonna be a little runny, but as you cook it a little by little, and this takes probably about four to five minutes, and it actually starts to thicken up, which you can actually see now it's nice and thick, and as you can see, it's got a nice coating. The longer you cook it, the thicker it'll get. At this moment, you just want to check see if it needs salt and pepper, add it to your preference, and then put it in a gravy bowl. Mmm, mmm, mmm. My kitchen smells so phenomenal right now. Just want to try these tender carrots. I love tender carrots. Mmm, mmm. All right. For what we've all been waiting for. Kids, what do you guys think about it? I love it. You love it, huh? How's the gravy? Good. Good stuff, huh? Cheers, y'all. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Nice and tender shredded beef. Just, just juicy. That gravy is phenomenal. You know, I was gonna make some mashed potatoes, but since I had put potatoes in the, the roast, I was like, you know, I don't need it. But yeah, this beef and that gravy, tender, juicy, good stuff. If you're new to my channel, consider hitting the subscribe button. That way you can see future videos just like this. As always, I'll leave a link in the video description and in the comment section so that we can go to my website, cookingwithkirby.com to get the full printable recipe. I have these recipes. They're really good. You should try them out. Now y'all be beautiful and take care. Do me a favor, share this recipe with your friends and family. Let them know that all my recipes are easy to make.